Hello. Uh, you're on mute. It's just on the bottom left. Yeah, hello. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Okay, so um, I haven't had time to properly look over the uh, project plan, but we can have a quick look at that and then have a have a proper chat. Yeah. Um, so you can see my screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think overall, you know, you've got a, a reasonable abstract introduction to work from. I'll give you some more detailed comments when I so when I mark it, and I can and send you something back. Um, let's have a look at let's have a look at the plan. See if this kind of makes sense. So, yeah, studying mechanisms for rogue wave generation. Play around with the understanding the code. I guess, yeah, this is a, this is a potentially tricky element. Yeah. So, what are we, what are you actually going to do here? Um, does the data exist and can you actually, you know, it might not be that you can really analyze historical data for sites when you know that the current is playing a role. There might be some data sets available, um, but you need to find that before it's part of your plan, I would say. Um, I think this is more achievable. Um, I'd kind of say that maybe that these are the same thing. All of these are just about, you know, selecting the correct parameter space. And that's including everything to do with the current profile, everything to do with the wave current combinations. So that could be more concisely said. Um, but overall, this is what we're trying to do, right? Um, so this, this, this seems fine. We could think about, you know, when you actually, when you write this for your main report, you'll want one overarching aim. So you want one clear statement of what your project is trying to do, which is to understand the role of spatially varying currents on the formation of rogue waves through the uh, wave ray theory. Um, and then the objectives will be things like this. But I'd, I'd suggest less, less of them. Uh, in order to achieve that aim, so that's just a point when you when you come to write this, that's what we'll be expecting for the final report. Um, okay, this is fine. So, where are you up to now? Mm, with the code. Say that again. Uh, start to play the code. So you've managed to install it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What? What? Um. How have you? How have you done that? But I can't run the test. No. It's still no. Some problem. Okay. Have you definitely installed it? I will try it later. Okay. okay. So yeah. I think I can what, got it. What what sort of IDE are you using? Jupyter notebook. Okay, you're using Jupyter notebook. Yeah. And it's but it's not running at all. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we need to have an extra session, um, organize something in the next couple of weeks to just sit down and and see if we can figure that out together. Yeah. Um. That's cool. Okay, so obviously one thing that you, you know, you plan to do but not done, which you mentioned was a literature review. Yeah. Um, so here do you mean rogue wave? Rogue waves, mm. rather than rough waves. Oh. Um, 
so yeah, I think this is probably okay. I think you know, you 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 want some background on what rogueways are, what we actually mean by them, and why they're damaging and interesting. Um, yeah, I think it's probably, you probably got something more general on wave current interaction. So you know, just generally, how do waves and currents interact? How does how does the Doppler shift work? How does it uh, how do how are waves modified in the presence of simple currents, and then moving on to spatially varying currents? So you probably have a general wave current interaction section. Within that, you've just got the the you know Doppler shift. Then you've got modifications to wave heights through um, uh, the wave action conservation. So that could be that could be part of your literature review, and then on to spatially varying currents. Um, what do you mean by this? said it last last meeting yeah definitely but i think that i think this is more a result of this oh. okay so maybe this is a more broad section on um yeah when you get when you actually get down into spatially varying currents you can talk about you know uh general refraction of waves so how waves refract over varying currents and then you can talk about then you can include all of the papers that discuss this as a as a mechanism for rogue wave formation, and perhaps more generally, uh, more general papers that just show sort of wave focusing effects in the presence of current. So if I, I don't know if if you're going to have three sections, I think you should have more, obviously. But if you're going to have three sections, that wouldn't be your main one. That would be like a sub part of sp spatially varying currents. I would think, like, yeah, one of the outputs of that. Uh, but yeah, when if you can send over something on yeah, your literature review and perhaps a more uh, more robust methodology, because um, I would say this is more of a list of tasks rather than specifics. Um, then I, I can I can give you more feedback on that. So for when I give you the um, <clears throat> When I actually mark this, you'll get comments on the main on the main project plan elements. Um, but the literature review and methodology, they they don't count. So I can, I can wait for you to give me those before I give you some feedback. Okay, I will give you uh, in a week. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. I think it's good to start thinking about how you frame your work. So the literature review is probably quite important for you. Yeah. Um, in order to make sure you you know. Um, you have an appreciation of what's going into the model, so you can understand those the some of the physical effects. Um, but this looks yeah broadly reasonable. You you probably want at some point a Gantt chart that considers other things you have to do. So at the moment you've got everything here that's for your project. But for example, if in uh, this week, okay, you got your exams, you got your exams, but you probably, it could be in more detail around like lots of different other assignments, you know, just to make sure that if you have five courseworks that are due in this week, that you're not planning to do too much on the project. Or when you have a gap, you can maybe try and do more. So just to, for later on, it'd be good to have a, a more detailed gun chat. Okay. Uh, but overall, this seems, Reasonable length theory. Uh, yeah. So I guess obviously we need to figure out in more detail what these are. So what are simple case? What are the simple cases? What are the complex cases? Or is it about? Um, is it just one big set of cases? You know, if if you cover a very large parameter space. And manage to understand all the sensitivity to lots of different things like the distribution of the velocities um and things like that you might find maybe that's an, a suitable way to go yeah. um and what is a complex case so designing a complex case that makes it more realistic might mean might be quite difficult to do without data and might make things harder to interpret if you try to make artificially complex data um then is that really realistic or representative? So obviously the real world is more complex and the, the nice 
distributions and individual wave angles and things we'll look at. But making the more complicated case, I think, yeah, we need to think about what, what that is, what that's for. And if we can actually do that with for a specific location, which would be very cool. But if not, then, yeah, we need to think about what do we need that for this project? Or do you want to just say, I've gone through loads of different free combinations of frequencies, angles, and uh, current profiles um, in order to understand the fundamental effects. And then from there, I can then say, okay, these are the likely scenarios that are going to give really damaging conditions. Yeah. Um, and then that that allows people who does have site data to go, okay, these could be a problem. These locations could be a problem. This is where we might expect large waves and um, where we might not want to go. So that could be one way to do the project is to do a big parameter space um, and look at the different sensitivities in order to give, you know, make um, recommendations to others for real for real situations. Uh, but we can think about that. Let's see. Let, well, we, we're obviously going to do these first, you know, the basic cases, lots of different parameters, and then see where we get to. Yeah. Okay. Any, any questions? About the research gap, I looked at the paper and I found that there have been some successful case of, you know, use code to simulate rough wave. So I'm not sure yeah. how to write my research gate. You research what, sorry? R research gate. Research gate. I, I looked at the paper and I found that there have been some su successful case of use, use code to simulate the rough way. So I'm yeah, not yeah. sure how to write my research gate. Uh, I'm not quite understanding what you mean, but yeah, there's been there's been lots of lots of work done on you know modeling rogue waves yeah. in in lots of different scenarios. Um, so you know you when you're talking about the literature review, you can cover the work done looking at rogue wave formation in this scenario, in this scenario, in this scenario, and then focus on what has been done for rogue waves from uh, horizontally shared currents or spatially varying currents. How we want to refer to them. And then I think the idea is that you, you know, once you've done your literature review, you have a clear idea what's not been done. Yeah. So, um, you know, from my from my reading on this, I have not seen anyone do a, you know, a, a large study of the of the, the likely combinations of waves and and current profiles. Um, have you found anything people doing that? No. Just okay. So. Yeah. So people, but people have done, yeah, lots of work on rogue waves. You're not, you're certainly not the first person to do that. Uh, but you need to. The whole point of the literature review is really to show what has been done, what's the current understanding, and what do you contribute. So, yeah, I think as long as we make make it very clear what what's been done, what you hope to add to the body of knowledge, I think that makes a very strong project. Okay. Um, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. I'll stop sharing that. And yeah, as I say, I've not had time yet. I've been incredibly busy, um, but I will hopefully have time next week to mark the reports properly, okay. and you'll get some get some comments and some and some proper marks. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, anything else you want to discuss? No, okay. So what I'd like you to do then, you know, okay, provide some writing samples for your literature review and methodology. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's not marked. It's for me to get an idea though. It's useful for me to get an idea how you're how you would structure a literature review, how you'd step through it. So think about the subsections, think about how you're gonna go from one to the next, think about the point, what point are you trying to make? It's not just about saying, here's loads of things that's been done. You want to be able to go from the from one section to the next to the next, and each one, you know, um, builds on the other one. You want to tell a story. Why are rogue waves really important? Why are they damaging? What are all the different mechanisms? What's been done? What's the role of currents? Where do the currents come from? Why? What happens with this interaction? And then you can finally go all the way down to 
and this is what's not been done, and I'm going to do that. So you want to tell a story all the way from, all the way sort of like top down, go into more detail to figure out, um, yeah, why, why, where the motivation is for your specific project. So it's good, it's useful for me to see how you would structure that, so I can give you some comments. Um, and the same thing on the methodology. It doesn't need to be loads of detail at this stage, but it's useful to see how you think you're going to approach these stages in a little bit more detail, you know, like what do you see as the actual, uh, yeah, the, you know, a preliminary set of range of cases, like how, what do you imagine you'd be inputting for your current velocity profiles? What are these based on? What sort of formula are, gonna, are you going to use, you know? So just a bit more detail, just to give me something, give us something to talk about and, and refine together in our next meetings. Okay. What was the introduction? What's the word? So, yeah, similarly for the introduction, you want to get to the point, maybe not as long-winded as a literature review. You don't want to put loads and loads of literature review in, but you do want to get to the point of the, the, the bottom part of your introduction should be your aims and objectives. So you want to tell a story, enough information to go, all right, this is the area. This is what we're focusing on. This is what we're trying to achieve, and this is how. Um, so I think that's how I would see the introduction is, yeah, you want to give enough background information to get to the point of where you're going. Literature review, you really want to show all of the body of work that's been done. Um, and, and and still, though, I would still try and link it eventually to what's not been done. So I think that, yeah, the literature review is really to convince, to convince at the end, at least, that, you know, what you're doing is novel and fits in with our, of, of what's important for X, Y, and Z different fields. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got to, you've got to start on that, but it's, yeah, it's just about yeah, thinking really clearly about the structure and story you're trying to tell, making sure you everything's backed up well by literature and and well supported. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I, I should probably go because I've got someone here in a minute. Okay. Uh, but yeah, give me a shout. You know, if you haven't managed to get this running soon. We should probably try and meet and figure this out. So let me know how you get on with that as well. Okay. All right, cool. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, bye. Take care. Bye. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too.